there, it's me, Jeanette. How are you? Hope you've been well. In today's video, I'm bringing another, yet another junk journaling uh, video, process video, and this is the junk journal that I've been working on, and this is part three. Maybe there's gonna be like part 20, I don't know, because I'm having so much fun with this junk journal. So I will link below uh, the part one video and also the part two video. So in that first video, I showed how to make the base of the journal, so how to staple everything together to create this notebook, this junk journaling notebook. And then in the second video, I showed how to add some more larger pieces to my layout, so just larger pieces of cardstock, pattern cardstock that I wanted to use. And I do recommend that you watch that video, especially that second video, because I included some awesome uh, links some free, to some free downloads, some free digital papers that I think are stunning that you'll see throughout this video as well. And now I'm just adding little extra bits to personalize my junk journal. So I have um, ephemera, die cuts, alphas, these little craft uh, <laughs> initials that spell out my name were sent to me by a pen pal, which was so sweet. Because it was just such a thoughtful thing because then I got to use them. Now I'm getting to use them in my junk journal. And totally, again, I've mentioned this before, junk journal, I feel like has such a negative connotation in my head. It's really not a junk journal. None of the things that I'm using here are junk because a lot of them have been given to me in racks. So random acts of kindness, uh, you know, via mail. Sometimes uh, some of you guys send some things to me like goodies or pocket letters and I really appreciate that. You don't have to send me anything. I just, a comment will do. I'm so happy just to get comments from you guys but I do appreciate everyone that has taken the time to send me something sweet, even if it's just a handmade card, like I, I love it all. So thank you for that, I really appreciate it. And I do like to pay it forward. So I, I tend to pay racks, of, uh, racks <laughs> random acts of kindness forward. And so right now I'm hosting a giveaway open to YouTube my YouTube subscribers. So I will have the video for that below. It's the last video that I posted, but I'll have it below, uh, linked for you below so that you can enter the giveaway. I'm giving away a mini pocket letter layout as well as some extra goodies and it's open internationally. So make sure that you enter and you can enter to win on that video. So make sure to leave a comment on, to watch the video to see how to enter and then leave a comment on that particular video for a chance to win a mini pocket letter layout and also some extra goodies. I know I've mentioned this before, but I really love junk journaling because it gives me a chance to use up some things in my stash. And while I do, I am a hoarder. There is, there are like paper, uh, cardstock paper packs that I've never used before because they're too pretty and I don't know what to do with them. I just want to keep them intact and just look at them, which is bad because then you forget about them and you don't end up using them. So anyway, junk drilling is a great thing to do if you want to use up some of the things in your stash. Because again, you can keep your junk journals. You don't have to give them away, but if you would like to swap them with a pen pal, of course you can do that. You can each make a junk journal for each other and swap them. But I just love that feeling of being able to use things in my stash that I've had for a long time. It makes me feel like a responsible citizen of the world. I don't know why. And also when I use up um, a whole glue stick, so this glue stick I have here is almost running out. And when I get every like last ounce of glue out, it just also makes me feel really responsible. Like I'm an adult, like I'm a responsible adult and I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> if you have a moment to spare, I would love to hear from you and know what it is, if anything, if there's anything that you hoard. Is it a certain paper pad? Is it stickers? Is it alpha stickers? Is it a Tim Holtz? Um, I don't know, like a stamp set? I don't know. What, <laughs> what do you hoard? And please let me know in the comments. There's absolutely no judgment here on my behalf. Like I am not judging anybody for what they hoard. I totally understand. I get it. At this point in my layout, I'm adding some sticky notes and these are from the Target dollar spot. And these were gifted to me by a very special friend. And what I love about having crafty friends are also pen pals as well. I do recommend you try to find a pen pal. It's just a special, like just a great experience because you give each other little goodies. And when you use those goodies in your layouts or in a junk journal, like you remember the person that gave it to you and it just makes it all the more special. 
know. So these page flags remind me of my friend who gave these to me and she was a ray of sunshine. <laughs> and so yeah, it's just really, really nice to be able to have crafty friends or pen pals that you can swap that kind of speak your crafty language and you can swap with. And I don't know, it's just a, a really special um, relationship, like a unique relationship that you can have with a crafty friend or a pen pal. Well, friends, I'm at the end of the video. Thank you so very much for watching. If you would like to see more of my crafty projects, then please subscribe to my channel or you can find me on Instagram at Jeanette Lane Blog. Thank you again so, so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye.